Schools say that canceling classes is the toughest decision they make. Our Rich Van White tonight takes a look at the factors they consider as they look at keeping your child safe. Closing schools because of dangerously low temperatures is one of the most difficult decisions school districts face. The things they consider, though, vary with each different school district. The small and largely rural Lebanon Community School District and the much larger suburban Hamilton Southeastern schools couldn't be more different. But both say wind chill temperatures are the biggest factor in deciding whether to cancel classes. 19 degrees below zero, it's a guideline, but not a hard, fast rule at Hamilton Southeastern. But when you look at that, minus 19 and minus 18, minus 17, there's not much variance there. So it's very difficult. Lebanon doesn't have a precise temperature either. 10 degrees below zero in farm country could be more dangerous than 20 below in a suburban neighborhood. The wind blows a lot more in the county. The snow piles up a lot faster in the county. And uh, students, you know, you don't know how long their driveways are, where, you know, how far they're going to have to walk just to get to their, you know, road to even get picked up for the bus. The forecast is for wind chill temperatures of at least 30 degrees below zero. That's cold enough to cause frostbite in the time it takes kids of either district to walk and wait to catch a school bus. It's cold enough to keep buses from starting or running, freezing up their brakes, coolant, or fuel. And while kids are sitting at bus stops? Correct. And that's? Not good. Recipe for disaster. Correct. Both district's buses have engine heaters. Both were checking batteries and other systems. We know that this is coming on Wednesday. We just want to be prepared for it. It's not only about the buses. It's about children who walk to school, who drive themselves to school, and whether it is safe for them to be out. Things school districts must consider when they decide whether it's safe to keep the schools open. Rich Van White, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.